Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Parasite U. When we last left off, we pretty much just faffed about the police station for a while, killing mutant dogs, picking up items, and pondering why Ben may not be the smartest kid you know. Quite the opposite, actually. But, and still for the majority, for the most part, the last one, there's one more major side distraction, but it's really not worth doing right now, so we'll leave it for a bit. So we'll leave it for another time. We it, here in the police station. It's time we actually get on our way here to go see what's going on with Ben and Shiva, because Shiva didn't look too good the last time we saw her. Then Ben didn't look like he was going to end up in a good situation if he kept hanging around Shiva. Of course, Matt, that's exactly what he was going to do. <laughs> Avoid the attack, run into the enemy. Yes, that, that was perfect. Ow. Really? Oh. Ow. Yeah, it might not be a good idea, or it might not be a bad idea to heal up, but... Once we've got that thing ready to die anyway. Okay. I forget what Cure M does, though. I think that's... Yeah, because Cure P is uh, poison, so I guess Cure M is uh, paralysis, despite the fact... Yeah, prevent stiffness, or paralysis, pretty much. Which really doesn't paralyze you so much, it just makes you move really slow. Even by the standards of the game so far, so... Yeah, you don't want to have that happen. There we go. I gotta love the whole find the right spot in order to actually open the door thing here. Alright. You know, if it weren't for fact I was already on the opposite side of the police station, I probably would have made a lot of sense to come here and save my game, but eh. And critical evade. That's useful. I always look for the things that aren't as highly detailed as the background in order to find hidden objects. Which I guess suppose means they really aren't all that hidden, but you know what I mean. Okay, there better not be those two spiders again. Oh, that's good. There aren't three spiders there. So I can keep going in peace. Wait, can I just say I like this music? I don't know if I said it last time. I, I don't know. Dog just twitching and spazzing out. I don't think she's okay. Good job, Chief. I'm sure he had a name. Baker, that's his name, yeah. No, that's Steve turning into a monster. She's kind of slacking off lately. Because that, that just looks like a normal dog that's kind of like freaking out and having a seizure. That's not much of a monster. Of course, means we have to have another body horror FMV. Yeah. So, I'll give you guys three guesses what the boss of this of this chapter is. I don't think you'll need those three guesses, though. <laughs> Throw the gun at it! <laughs> Throw your gun at it! I don't know if that actually does anything, but... Throw your gun at it. It always works in the old movies. Please, no more mutant dogs. Actually, for that matter, no more spiders. I, I think I would have preferred spiders or mutant dogs, actually. Right, well, that was a bad dodge. Uh. 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 
All right. Oh, all right. Not quite. We're not quite to the point. We're kind of in that medium zone where parasite energy for healing doesn't do much good. There we go. Okay. Only one rat. A little bit easier to deal with. Unless he decides to get right up in our grill, you know, then, yeah, not so much. Oy. Yay, level up! Eh. Ooh! I forgot, sometimes enemies can drop tools. It's a very rare occurrence, but it does happen from time to time. Which is why it's always a good idea to be carrying around some items to uh, start going into the upgrading. Okay. There we go. And two points. Two points of attack. My damage seems to be pretty good at this point. Even though my weapon's damage output seems to be below the curve, my damage is actually pretty good. On the other hand, I think I could use some more defense here. That gives me more stats overall. But that gives me a greater, boon a greater bonus to defense. Which arguably with the damage I've been taking is what I need here. Okay. And since we're in the inventory, I might as well. There we go. Reload. With our magical 13 bullets. Okay. And there's nothing that will yet. Ah. You, you have something useful. Oh, also, I'm so sorry you're dead. Yeah. He's got something really useful in his locker, so we, we, we don't we do want to get that locker key definitely. But for the moment, let's take a short detour here. Into this room, another storage room. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. Okay, yeah. The special variant of the dog enemy here. And as the dialogue points out, though, God only knows how Aya knows that, this is the one that got Torres. Good googly moogly. <laughs> and of course, being a kind of field boss variant of the giant dog of the dog enemy, his attacks hurt a lot. Don't back into me. Eat lead. Or actually, kind of something I'm attacking from behind. I suppose a better, a better line would have been something, something lead animal, or something. I don't know. There we go. Ooh. Another rifle. Rifles tend to have good stats to transfer over. And let's see. Not that we have the tools. Eh, it's alright. I mean, its base stats are good, but it doesn't have much for me to transfer over. So, for the moment being, all we're going to do is take all the ammo out of it. And put it into our baby gun. Which actually is kind of feeling... I mean, there is a reason I'm kind of sticking to using just one weapon throughout the game, but... I am questioning whether it's as bright an idea as I thought it was in the first place. At least for the short term. For the long term, it is definitely the better option. By the way, secret room! It only really has it only actually has one item in it. The end jacket. Which is actually not all that much more powerful than what we have right now. You know, I actually it occurs to me, I don't actually know what any of the base stats do in this game. And yet, despite the fact that in most RPGs that would drive me nuts, I actually don't care all that much. It's like I don't even know myself anymore. And of course, like every other dead comp, except the guy with the card with the locker key. He doesn't have anything because he already gave us the locker key. We can't pick any ammo up off of him. Go. 
go. Okay. And we are almost to the boss here. Please let me fight those rats in that bird again. Let me try to be careful. Actually, because the trigger was the stairs, I shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't have to worry about fighting them here. And I think, yeah, one last fight here. I think spiders. Yeah, kind of close. Okay. Nah. Don't want to use energy shot quite yet. But I do want to heal. Hate the stupid dog purse. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Well, that that distinctly happened. You all saw it, it happened. Actually, it's right at me. Usually I'm much better at getting out of the way of the melee attacks from these dog people things. And yet I keep playing tricking with this thing even though I keep getting hurt. You know, you, you figure I would learn my lesson eventually. Although, considering my past experiences as we've seen them in these videos, you would figure that. You'd kind of be wrong though, in a lot of ways, but you'd figure that, wouldn't you? Alright. No, not that. There we go. There we go. Okay. And now... Thank God they don't throw a the fight here. I mean, I love the Dutch angle, has that creepy feel, but that would have been a horrible fight in that. You know, a bruised shoulder isn't so bad compared to what you're facing, Baker. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> well, depending on how you consider it, she might not be, but she's about to be. I don't think we can let. It's already happened here. Okay. So, there are three targets. That's important to be aware of. So this is Carol Barris, server. But they call it Carol Barris, I don't know why... I always, it's Cerberus, I mean, I think Carol Barris is just an alternate pronunciation of that, whatever. But, yeah. Pretty much, if I remember correctly, all the heads do contribute to the overall health that the enemy has. And it does stupid stuff like that. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, yeah, slow doesn't. <sighs> of course, we have to pick a target, which I don't remember which one controls what ability, so that's actually probably not a very good idea. Okay, so I'll use barrier instead. Which barrier? What barrier does is basically. You don't take damage, damage is, is taken off of your parasite energy instead. Which can be pretty useful. When you're dealing with things that are dealing a lot of damage that are really hard to avoid. Like this jerk who keeps using that freaking howl. Oh, come on, use real attacks, you jerk. Ugh. Because the only way to avoid the attack, is that howling attack, is to be on the complete opposite side of the arena from it. Which, if it uses it in the middle of the screen, you can't avoid it. Ow. Thankfully the laser beam can actually only hit you once. So that can be used in your favor.
Oh yeah, he's also got a really bad uh, melee attack. I forgot about that. Thankfully we got a couple of medicine threes. Okay. Which one of you is the one that heals? The bottom one? Oh, that was bad timing. Ow. Thanks for the beam, oddly enough, even though it's arguably the easiest one to avoid, is actually the weakest attack that this thing has. I mean, you've seen the damage output of everything else. The beam isn't that bad. Okay. I hate you. Just because I know both your history so far in this fight, Putting up barrier just to be on the safe side that you're gonna start spamming that undodgeable howl. Wow, that actually completely stripped my barrier in one go. I thought that was the weakest attack he had, but I, I'm confused now. Alright, well, this is not going well. Distinctly not going well at all. There we go. I hate you, stupid dog. Alright, that's one head down. When it actually does that where it interrupts your turn, that means you've taken out one of the heads. Which is definitely a good sign, and I'm going to do something kind of risky here. Not really risky, but kind of risky. Just speed up my Parasite Energy Regeneration. I'm going to play... Actually, I've said the fact... I mean, the boost's not really that great. So, you know, it's, but yeah. I think I mentioned it earlier in the bit, or in an earlier video, but yeah. The amount of, uh, or the rate of parasite energy regeneration is actually based very heavily on, like, or it basically, every time you use it, it regenerates uh, more slowly than it did previously. Right, two heads down. Okay. Ow. Okay. HP is probably starting to get low, but I don't have a lot of Parasite Energy to fuel the attack. And I've got one revive I can rely on here if worse comes to worse. I really don't want it to get to that point, but if it does, I do have a back out. Okay. Oh! Darn, I should have gone for the energy shot. That would have been a nice climactic finish. Confused. <laughs> I've never been a big fan of uh, status effects like Confuse in RPGs. They just have never really felt all that worthwhile to me. Especially because the fact like, oh, you've confused the enemy, they'll attack on your side until you smack them upside the head. Baker doesn't look so good. I mean, mind you, given what's happened, you, you can't blame him. <laughs> Well, at least Ben's not dead, even though he's kind of an idiot, but, you know, he's a kid. I, I guess a certain amount of idiocy is excusable, because, you know, kids are stupid. Like, really stupid. <laughs> um, speaking of which, that was uh, kind of a shaky way to stand up. Huh? 
Oh uh, yeah, they did. It, Aya did mention that they did start on the Force at the same time. So I guess they probably got a lot of history together. Well, that's what we're doing here. I, I'm not sure how much progress we're honestly making, but we're working on it. I don't know if, well, yeah. And so, that brings us to an end of day three. So, of course, tune in next time when we'll be starting off with day four, Conception. Until then, as always, later, folks.